Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We're back again playing Wizard of Legend for the second time. In our first episode, we had a good little time, managed to get ourselves a nice new cloak and a few different bits and bobs. We're going to be changing up our build a little bit here if we can, so let's talk to these guys. Oh no, it's not the guy we need to talk to, it's the chest. Hello, Mimi. How are you doing? So, on offense, we got these two. I, I really want to go for like a full-on fire build. Uh, automatically enhances Beta Garkana. Um, that seems to be the main one we've got there. Oh, we've got this... Ring, increased damage and movement speed when you're with a true friend. I'm guessing that means you have to be playing co-op, which is kind of cool. But yeah, we'll go with this first. That's one we unlocked last time, so we'll keep that on. Uh, we don't really have enough gems to buy anything right now. We've got six. I would like that toy rocket thing, though. That's kind of cool. Seeing the charge no longer decays while building up. That's really useful. Um, and then I do think we bought, like, one basic account kind of from Termi here. Um, so with that basic, we've only got the wind one so far, unfortunately. I'm, I'm hoping to build up a fire build this time around, but it looks like... For right now, at least, we're not going to be able to do that. Let's go with a fireball as well, though. We're going to have the fireball and the uh, the dragons at the same time, which is kind of cool. And let's make our way in and see what we can get up to in this little one here. We've got the earth stage first, which is nice considering we're doing fire. It's going to make the first stage a little easier. I'm glad it's not the fire one. I do, um, I do realize I'm going to be pretty bad at this <laughs> to start out again. Again, as I said in my um, Dungreed episode yesterday, I am trying to play these episodes as they come out so I can take in feedback and look at your guys' comments and see what you say before I record. So it does mean there's a little bit of a gap between me playing each uh, each run, but that doesn't make too much of a difference, to be honest, as long as I get learn the game. But let's just take a little look-see here. Uh, we've got the relic here that upgrades our basic arcana, meaning we get the enhanced version, final slash creates a piercing wind that negates projectiles. That sounds really, really useful, actually. Yeah, that, that blast is really useful. Wow, that blast is really, really good. Yeah, that's really, really nice, actually. That seems like it's going to be a very, very big help. Oh, there's a kind, of, a kind of cool little picture there. I like that. So we'll like to take a look at the map, make sure we're going to all the relevant places. But this is a really, really good build so far. So this guy's getting shielded. I'm not... Ooh, damn it. I took a bit of damage there. This guy's getting shielded. I'm not exactly sure what was shielding there, if it was him doing that, or um, if it's some sort of, like, other enemy. But I think it was just his own ability uh, there doing that. But yeah, if we open... I think I think we always open with a fireball and then finish off with them. And then we can just use basic Arcana until everything's back up again. So we'll right-click there. Okay, so they can't be hurt by projectiles while they're in that mode there. Oh, that one is the is the epic is so good. Oh, damn it. That guy got me there. That guy dang diddly got me. Oh, damn. I'm taking a lot of damage here. These guys are actually quite hard to dodge because the only problem with that, I've, I've noticed with our basic arcana right now, is we get locked into an animation with it, actually. So we're taking a little bit more damage than we really should be here uh, because we're kind of walking into things here. So, we've got a shop there. We want to be trying to avoid buying HP when possible. I'll come back to that shop later because I want to check out what else we got here. We don't have anything fire-based. I'm not hugely keen on buying anything from this woman here. Um, into a kind of state where every last hit of your basic arcana lowers all cooldowns. Okay, that does sound pretty good though. We are going to be using our basic quite a lot. It does seem that we can like stun lock with this uh, ability as well, which is really nice. So, we can kind of use our basic arcana, like, as our main attack. I mean, it is meant to be a main attack, but you know what I mean. Use it mainly, and just use our other ones for initiating. Like, use the fireball on that for the early damage. But then we can stun lock with uh, with everything else. So it seems like the way to go, really. And, I mean, look how much damage we're doing right now. It's kind of insane. Um, we do have our, our signature ready, so I want to use that before we... There you go. Before we waste it. And we managed to manage to kill a full enemy on that as well. We are quite far down in the HP so far, like, to be honest. Like, we're not exactly great for HP right now. There we go. We should be able to kill all of these with that. There we go. But apart from one, he got away. I think we just need to be a bit more careful about um, stun locking and all that sort of stuff. We've got some sort of timer here. What, what is this? Oh, okay. We just found a relic. Um, designed by Arzen, um, whatever that says. The This relic activates when taking damage at low health and briefly removes cooldowns and all I can. So it's kind of like a safety button. That's kind of nice. It's not exactly the most useful thing in the world. We will be able to get some usage out of it a little bit later on when we're feeling the pain and, and really, uh, really starting to notice certain enemies wailing on us. 
Last time we managed to get to the final boss of the area, but unfortunately didn't get past it. So this time, hopefully, we'll have a little bit better luck doing that. Okay, it's really nice that that, um, that, that ability destroys all projectiles. Yeah, this stun locking is beautiful. Damn it. I might need to buy some health. I might need to buy some health. I'm not exactly feeling the safest here. I do know we can get some gems and things from destroying um, the barrels and basic things around the map. So I'm going to try at least to be vigilant about doing that. So I think with this guy, we can actually just push him off the edge here before he even attacks. Easiest way to do it. I'm getting used to the long range basic at the end and keep thinking that all of them are that base, uh, that size. It's kind of like having cleave in uh, Undermine and starting a new run. It proper throws you off and you just feel like you should have cleave all the time sort of thing. Oh, what the hell are these things? I don't know what these are, but they're scary. <laughs> Luckily, they weren't actually that difficult. Unfortunately, there's no healing in that chest. Chest seems to have chests seem to have healing quite a lot, and that one just didn't. Damn it! That was really, really bad of me there. So what I tried to do there is because my base guy Kana reflects projectiles, I tried to keep hitting just to try and reflect the projectile, but unfortunately it didn't work. We've got a care shop here. We need to be careful about this. Signature charge rate um, and decay are increased dramatically, but charges signature damage are re is reduced. So we got a charged up one very, very quick, but it doesn't do as much damage. Increased damage, but stone pri uh, star prices are increased. Um, increases arm, but star prices are increased. Let's go with this one. I I, I know that, the, um, that taking these is obviously a risk, but I do want to make sure I take them pretty often because I think we can get a lot out of them. Uh, so let's go to our shop here. How much money do we have? We have 260 something. So let's go and buy the HP first because we definitely need it. Um, and then we can go off that. So we can buy this. We can buy any of these three. All gold costs for relics are discounted. Um, increased fire damage. Um, summon a shield. Let's go with the increased fire damage. We're using fire damage right now anyways. So it makes sense to go for that. And considering how much we're going to be charging up our um, our signature, hopefully. I would presume at least. We did. I think we fought this guy last time, didn't we? Uh, he wasn't actually that bad. Oh, that was a bad hit. Oh, when that's a bad miss. Right, we got that guy taken care of. We really need to get rid of this guy. Damn it. Yep, I'm liking I'm liking that combo. I'm I'm a liking that combo. Oh, oh damn. I am taking some crazy damage right now. I need to be careful. I am really getting wailed on right now. So let's see what we get from this. Obviously, we've got some HP, which is nice. Um, nothing else, unfortunately. we still got a little bit of gold to get into the next floor with. I'm pretty happy with that floor. I think it went well, and we gained some good stuff. We are still taking a lot of damage, but that is basically just going to be me learning enemies' attack patterns. I'm, I'm quite often a bit disorientated, or at least a little bit, um, a little bit confused with myself about um, how much time you have before you have to like move out the way of an attack. How much like of yourself like that there look i thought i could commit to that and unfortunately i couldn't and you've got to really get used to how much of yourself you can commit to an attack before it's like get out of dodge time but i think with our increased fire damage it's gonna be really good oh my god do not ever get hit by that that is a bad attack to be hit by okay so we can stun lock him out of that attack which is nice gotta be careful about that That drill guy is kind of annoying, but we can deal with him. That we cannot deal with. That is something that's regularly, very regularly hitting me. So I need to be very, very careful about enemies that can do that little spiky attack. I I think it's mainly because I'm like losing the range on it or something. Oh my god, these guys are tough. Oh my god. These guys are really tough. Okay, okay, okay. That was difficult. We definitely need to buy some HP again. We've got plenty of gold, though, so that should be fine. I think it stays at 100, at least within the floor that you're on. Oh, my God. I'm not liking this at all. Oh, get some HP there. Yeah, I'm loving the signature charge item, even though even though it's doing a lot less damage. And it's, it seems to be significantly less. The fact that it's charging so regularly means that we're actually able to keep enemies, like, away from us and stun locks. We get quite a lot of knockback. Okay, I don't know what these plants do, but I probably don't want to find out, do I? Okay. 
Okay, that's not what you meant to do. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the door's closed. I didn't realize you could kill these. I thought they were, like, traps. And I got poisoned there as well, so that's good. Yeah, taking a lot of damage here. It's, it's, it's a very, very much a learning process for me right now, uh, as you guys can imagine. It doesn't matter if we have a short run here, though. And that was, that was awful. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop falling into the pits. Please. I really want to kill this guy without using my signature and then use my signature on something else. Ah, oh, that's the boss. I'm not going to use it on the boss. I will go through here, though, and take a different path around. Okay, so we've got a sale on Earth. We've got this here. Um, signature charge no longer decays when, when building up. Well, that seems kind of amazing with what we've got going on right now. Like... I'm pretty sure that sounds amazing. Uh, regen HP every time you pick up a Chaos Gem and increase armor based on the amount of Chaos Gems held. That also seems very good. Um, the Banker appears in the Curse Trials. Only one token can be held. Adds a chance to poison foes. Let's just go with the Surefire Rocket and some healing. I think that with the Surefire Rocket and what we've got going on right now, we should have a pretty good time at building up our... Um, at building up our signature. I think we should be able to build up our signature like pretty regularly, like pretty much a few times a room. Yeah, this is this is pretty good. Oh, I thought that guy died. Um, yeah, we should be able to build up a few times a room, which is actually kind of insane. Like, if we hit enough enemies, it's gonna charge up. And because we're not losing it, and it's such a wide area of attack, it's, it's kind of insane, actually. I just wish we could, like, it seems that this game, I mean, I know this game's hard. It seems that this game is very... Ah, what's the way of saying it? Very stingy with healing. You do not get a lot of healing at all. Um, which, oh my god. Right, these guys can just get wailed on. Wow. Yeah, it's very stingy with healing. You do not get a lot. Not a lot at all. So we need to be very, very cautious about that. I mean, I think we're already in the shitter a little bit here because of that. Uh, but yeah, um... We don't have enough to buy any of those. That is probably a problem that we're, that we're not buying any of them. So we maybe need to, to look at that a little more closely. Right, whereabouts... Well, how do you open your map? Is it just M? Okay, so we've got to go down. I didn't realize we hadn't been down. So we've got another care shop already, which is surprising. I didn't realize you could get them so regularly. Increased damage, but lowers the activation speed of all Arcana. Um, all Chaos Gems gained the Chaos Trials are transformed into gold. Increase the amount of armor, but star prices are increased. Let's go with that. Armor, I don't know how armor works in this game, but I assume it's good. <laughs> uh, let's have a little look. Um, plus 16%. Does that mean we, re we receive 16% less damage? I would assume so. But anyways, we've got to go on to our boss now. I'm a little bit cautious of this because I do think we're going to kind of shit the bed with this a little bit. Wow. He hit me there and it did a lot of damage. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we are taking reduced damage here, which is nice. And we are we are charging up our kind of really, really fast, which is also very, very nice. That was good. We killed him very, very quickly. So our damage output is actually silly. It's very, very strong. Uh, but we are a little bit behind the times. So we've got the pocket watch. By the way, um, in this game, you do have a limited amount of relics. So when you're building... Oh, I didn't even realize we had that. Small chance to evade attacks. That's very nice. Um, you do have a limited amount. So, like, these ones, you, you uh, when they're cast, you can't remove them, I don't think. But other ones you can drop uh, in order to pick up other things. So that's kind of nice. This reduces... Um, this relic reduces all cooldowns, but also reduces signature charge rate. I actually don't want that. Um, how do I drop that? Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to drop that and leave that. I really want my signature charge rate to be as fast as possible. Okay, so now we're on to the boss for this stage. We don't have great HP going into this, so I'm not super confident. And again, I, I have seen and played this game before, but attacks may have changed, things may have updated. I hope your trip here hasn't been too terrible. Ah ha 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 ha. Because you're about to get crushed. Okay. So, the way that these bosses work generally is you've got three attacks to, jo to dodge, maybe four sometimes, mostly three, and then you can go in for an attack. Okay, so that we do we do the three like that. Whoa! 
Excuse me, sir. I thought I dodged out the way of that. Apparently not. You're getting a signature like each each wave is very, very nice. Oh, God. We are taking hella damage. Ah. I got poisoned as well. God damn it. And I got poisoned again. Oh, my. What the hell is this thing? Okay, this is definitely, definitely um, a very, very difficult boss. His patterns are uh, difficult. The evade chance is insane, though. We, we have a chance of getting him here, but on, on two life, I, I literally have to dodge every single one of his attacks perfectly. And I really don't know how to avoid that one. And of course, I missed that, which is annoying. Oh, no, we got him. No way. Two HP and a dream. Wow. Your will is stronger than diamond. Farewell. A rocky journey awaits you. Earthlord Atlas B. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm very impressed that I survived that. And we actually got if an unlock and... So not only did we actually unlock that, which is nice, we actually got it given to us. And even better... Wait, I thought I said it was fire. Oh, it's just dragon. Okay. Summon a dragon that uh, speeds along a circuit before crashing down to the enemy. The dragon now travels faster and covers more distance. Because we got the enhanced version. I did think that was fire. Unfortunately, it's electricity. That's not a terrible thing, though, because we are moving on to the fire floor now. So we do need attacks other than fire to deal decent damage. But that, that was that was pretty good. We need to find the, uh, the shop as soon as possible. Really. It is annoying that our signature is going to be uh, fire. So we are going to be dealing less damage to some of the enemies. Not all of them, just some of them. That dragon's really, really good, by the way. Ah, oh, damn it. Wrong shop. Oh, we've got a care shop here as well. Glass cannon. Damage is increased, but health is reduced. Critical hit chance is increased for you and enemies. Uh, reduced cooldowns, but half by half, but deal less damage. Okay. They all seem pretty useful, but I, I I I can't in good conscience take any of those. That will that will probably end up murdering us. I think that's amazing. We most certainly need some healing though. Nice. Got him. Oh my god, he hit me. No. Oh no, we found our boss straight away, which is not great, actually. Um, so we found all of our shops and stuff, apart from apart from one. The one we need, of course. Okay, let's stay away from that guy. Okay, these guys now split into smaller guys, which is difficult. Okay, just get, get rid of the guy that's lobbing fire at me constantly. Whoa, 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 big boy. That guy cannot be stunlocked. Noted. This is going to be a, a room where we die. Yep. <laughs> Fell off the map and I died. Damn. That was a really good run there. But we can go for another one. We've got, we've got time. We have a lot of gems stacked up now as well. So 81 is more than enough to buy a few bits and bobs. So it does seem that we can influence what's here. Uh, ooh, that seems very good. Increased damage from all sources. Like, no, not, we, we deal increased damage from all sources. Uh, this will increase all damage for every enemy defeated, but lose effectiveness when taking damage. That's kind of cool. Um, gold gain when defeating a council member with a... Ah, oh, that's kind of cool as well. That's kind of cool as well. Um, hail a falcon of wind that repeatedly assails the first enemy it strikes. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's go with that. I know it's expensive, but we, we want to be trying some of the cooler things here. So we'll change our things up, and we'll go for that as our signature, I think. Um, so we'll take that as our signature. We'll take that as our standard, because we've got two new ones there. And we'll also buy this... And what else we got here? Uh, triples critical chance for all melee arcana. 
So what counts as melee arcana? I'm not sure. Uh, so if I... Wait a minute. If I teleport back here... Let me just try this. Now come back out. Has that has it changed what's available to us there? Because we might be able to do some wacky stuff. Yeah, it has. Okay. Um, so... Creeping tendrils. Let's go with creeping tendrils, shall we? Um, open this up and change. Oh no, creeping. I thought creeping tendrils was a thingy. Uh, we'll go. We'll go creeping tendrils anyways for that. I thought that was a basic. Sadly, it's not. Um, flame strike basic. Let's go for the flame strike basic then, shall we? Um, and we will change this over to. I keep forgetting you don't speak to him. You speak to this guy. Uh, we'll we'll change this over to the Sunder thing. Just dealing extra damage sounds like a very, very useful thing to have. And we'll hop back in. This Falcon thing seems like it's going to be really cool. We're starting off with the same formation as last time. Um, Earth, Fire, and then I think it was Lightning for the last one. So we get three charges of our Q, which is really, really nice, actually. Oh, that's so cool. We can just have these falcons constantly. Whoa. So how does this creeping tendrils work then? I didn't even see what happened there, really. Okay, we don't have this upgraded anymore. Oh, it's this one. This one's really good. Creeping tendrils is really, really nice. I remember this one. That seems like it's going to be very, very impressive for us. Oh, God. We took a lot of damage there. Okay, Creeping Tendrils seems like it's really hard to hit, though. Okay, I'm... I'm just going to let this happen. This was a terrible start. Yeah. Okay. I... I'm just going to let that happen. That, that was fine. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wow. Let's get back in. That was terrible start. An absolutely terrible start. Was that up a fire this time? Yeah, I don't really know what happened there. Oh, wait. I forgot to change my basic. I forgot to change my basic. Oh, well. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I don't... Why? I'm, I'm, I'm very confused right now. The creeping tendril seems to just not latch on to enemies. Like, it just... It didn't hit him there at all. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit confused at what's going on with the creeping tendrils. Like, I right-clicked on the enemy, and it didn't seem to do anything. Maybe they nerfed it since I last used it. It used to be really, really good. Like that, it didn't even hit him. I'm confused about what's going on here. Do I need to be really, really close or something? Yeah, this... Nah, let's go to title screen. <laughs> I'm restarting again. That Creepy Tendril sucks. They must have changed it. It used to be really, really good. It sucks now. They must have changed that. Right, so you get, you're you getting changed over for... Wait, have we, used, we haven't used the Frost Fan yet. Let's use the Frost Fan and that basic. We're going with the Flame Strike. Cool. Right, in we go. I do like the upgraded basic. We're oh, starting off on the new floor, the Lightning Floor. Thund Thundering Keep, I think it's called. I'm happy to see it. I'm glad they added a new floor to the game. It's very interesting. Ooh, I like these little lights they got going on here. So our basic now does this, which is pretty damn cool, actually. Um, and then our right click is Frost Fan. Ooh, we've got this guy already. Um, increased damage, but um, signature can no longer be charged. Deal damage, but max health reduced. Let's go for the Crimson Clover. We get increased crit chance, but the enemies can also deal critical damage. I think that's kind of a cool one to go for. I, it'll probably be the death of us, but you know what? you got to try new things, haven't you? And I really like this falcon thing. So, that's really good. I'm liking that a lot. Yeah, I'm really liking the falcon a lot. I want to see what the signature of that looks like. just knocks him about all over the place. It's very hard to charge up its signature, though. I'm noticing that already. Excuse me, sir. 
Okay, it just sends out one really big one that like splits into loads more. That's kind of cool. That's kind of what I'm expecting. I was expecting it to fire like a load of them at once. And just a la latch onto like every enemy there is. And this fire is really good as well. I realize I'm not talking much right now because I'm trying to focus on not dying. But this fire seems really good as well. Like, we're able to hit, like, multiple enemies with it. Oh, that was amazing. Whoopsie. I accidentally missed with both of those falcons there, which isn't good. Got him. Move out of the way, fool. Right, so we got Scales of Babylon designed by Virtuous... Um, this arcana allows you to lower your active cooldowns and steal speed from enemies by blasting them with air. This sounds alright. I like the, um, the vacuum seekers. They sound kind of cool. We'll come back to you. Got some cool stuff there, dude. Got some cool stuff there. Okay, this is the first actual lightning enemies we've seen here, which is surprising. I thought I'd be seeing... A lot more. Whoa, they're strong. That's really cool, though. I'm loving these Falcons. If only we could up their damage a bit. Their damage is kind of low, but they're just really interesting. That's kind of what I'm looking for, though. This game has a ton of interesting arcana and spells in it, but it's just really interesting to see them all. Okay, the extra crits, not going to lie, are really, really nice. Yeah, we're getting crits, like, all the time right now. It's very, very nice. Interrupting them guys' bow attacks is very necessary. There he is. That's awesome. In fact, if you do that in a big room or against a boss, I can see that being very valuable. I can see that being really, really good. On some of the smaller enemies are right at the end of combat. It's not actually that good, because you kind of miss out on some of the effectiveness. But I can see how that could be really, really good. Also, I haven't traveled really far here, and of course I fell off. I dodged a little bit too early. Oh my god. I'm just not seeing these gaps at all. Hey, it's this guy. Right. Um, increased damage for all projectile arcana. I think everything we have right now is projectile arcana, apart from our first one. Has a chance to burn foes. Increased resistance to lightning-based attacks. It allows you to destroy any projectiles with melee-based arcana. I really want this, um, the Glove Gauntlet, Increased Damage for Projectiles, sounds really, really good. I don't see why we wouldn't go for that, but it is a bit, it is a bit more money, of course, that is one of the reasons. So that's, that's the only thing I'm noticing about the, um, the, the Falcon right now that isn't great. We have to make sure we aim at a bunch of different targets to make it effective. Falcons everywhere. That was pretty great. That was pretty great. And also we can miss with it too, which seems really bad. The fact that we can miss with it seems like it's going to be our downfall because I am missing with it quite a lot. It's good that can hit multiple enemies though, that's nice. Even though it locks onto the, the first one mainly, it, it, can, it can get everyone. So here's our boss. Um... We have enough to go to that shop, so let's go back to the... Oh, it's not that shop. Green's the shop, isn't it? Yeah. And let's go with projectile. I think that I think that this count, these two count as projectiles, so that's why I'm going for that. I'm assuming the bear counts as a projectile. Oh, damn. Ah, that was a bad idea. bad idea. Oh, my God. He dealt a critical to me there as well, which was not good. That is what we want to see. Look at that. There we go. That was pretty good. I mean, this is a little bit a little bit dodgy as compared to our last run. We had a much better time on that last one, I think. Um, we had a build that was a little more sensical and, and had a lot more flow to it. 
This one's got a little bit more, like, you got to connect the dots a little more, if you know what I mean? You've got kind of, we've got to make it work, rather than the build making it work. Which obviously isn't ideal. Uh, it's not exactly the best, the best thing you want. But, at the same time, we should be able to get through. We should be able to make it work. It's just, we need a bit more HP. And I need to get better with the Falcon. Although, I, I, I really think, because this is one of the new ones. I don't know if it's new for this update or the previous update. But it's definitely new from when I played, though. And I really, really like it. I think it's really, really good. Same with the um, the ice tentacle thing. I think we need to start upgrading Arcana and stuff like that. Like, or buying new Arcana. I think having having very little um, availability in our wheelhouse ten of Arcana, in terms of Arcana is one of our downfalls too. I'm quite often um, just relying on what we have. Oh, hello. There's there's something. No, I, if it was upgraded, I'd take it, but I can't be taking it there. Um, so we've got... Hell, a rapidly revolving air current that returns to you. Ooh, that sounds cool. Um, we've got that. We've got dashes. We've got basics. So I, I might buy that. That sounds kind of cool. Um, sounds interesting. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with this one. We can't, like, sell it or anything. I'm really loving that, though. And I, I, I do like the frost uh, the frost thing, but I, I think I don't, whatever its upgraded version is is probably a lot, lot better. Feels like it would be, at least. Sadly, we're going to lose this one. Oh, that healing's nice. Oh, my God. The, I instantly, instantly lost out on that because I did not realize that guy was a lightning archer. And they seem to do a lot more damage. That guy is frozen and still managed to, to attack. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Oh, wowie. I find traversing the map kind of difficult in this game as well. As you can see. Clear example of that. Oh my god, we got so much healing there and wasted it all. Right, what we got here? I remember this being really good. Let's have a look though. Grants a significant boost in armor. Lose gold every time you are hit. Um, all Chaos Gems transmute into a thingy. Uh, Regen HP with a critical health, max health is reduced. Let's try that out, shall we? Our max health isn't exactly at full anytime ever anyways, so... I think it's fair game. These guys are a real pain in the ass. We need to deal with those very promptly. Right. Yeah, I think I think having our freezing is nice, but we need something that does more damage. Having the opening damage is what's, what will save us last time. You see this, though? I'm, I'm just doing terribly here. Get birded. That's another thing about the signature with this. Unfortunately, um, with, with, with the signature, you end up kind of wasting a lot of it because um, you get into a situation where the, the birds all home on the one enemy and that enemy dies very, very quickly and then, they, then they're just hovering around doing not much. Okay, so we've activated the regen. It seems to be below 100 HP we get regen. But that's very nice because we can kind of just... Maybe it has to be in combat or maybe 92 is the limit. Okay, we got a bits and bobs here. Let's see if there's anything here that's going to be great for us. Gain signature charge every time you pick up a Chaos Gem and it increases damage based on the amount of Chaos Gems held. That's kind of cool. Um, increase resistance to earth-based attacks. Increase resistance to air-based attacks. Summon a spirit that follows you along um, and slows enemies. So we'll take, the, we'll take the HP definitely. And then we'll probably go to this shop. And yeah, I'll buy this. I'll see what that's like. It's also upgraded as well, so we can take a little look here. Um, creates an additional boomerang before returning to you. Sounds kind of cool. Yeah, the boomerang seems pretty good. It's got a pretty quick cooldown as well, which is nice. I'm just going to focus on the thingy enemies for now. Get a lot of birds on that guy. The birds are so good with the signature. Wow. Okay. That was insane. We just like one shot in towards the end there. So that was really, really nice. And we got this as well, which I think is pretty good. Increase armor. Yeah, 5% extra armor. That's not bad at all. Uh, and I think we're about done with this floor. 
Let's go down, shall we? Uh, I think we're onto the boss now, actually. Which I'm scared for, because I don't know this boss at all. I've literally never even seen it. At least we got near to full health there, though. I say full health, we've got a health, maximum health reduced by a lot. Okay, so there's two of these guys, the twins. It's shocking you made it this far. But we're here to make sure you stay grounded. Oh my god. Okay, so that's... That's difficult. So, so one of them charges the other up while the other one attacks by the looks of it. Okay, so and they, they seem to switch. Whoa, that's so cool. That's so cool. I'm loving these guys' attack patterns right now. They're really, really interesting. Seems like we've got pretty good hit combos, though. That's That's got to be, like, the coolest attack I've ever seen. That's so interesting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Just stay still. Don't dash about the place. God damn, you get so much damage on them by doing that. Okay, this one's pretty easy to dodge, actually. That one's that one's not so easy. Nice, we got him. We didn't expect you to put up so much resistance. But, <laughs> but you really know how to amp things up. Wow. The puns are great. I'm loving it. But yeah, this is this this E ability is actually insanely good. I'm really happy we got that. Uh, and this time we're getting this on our R ability. Our ability. Release a volley of piercing winds. Fire additional projectiles. Sounds nice. We've got a wind build actually going on right now. We've only got two abilities that aren't wind. And I know there's some um there's some relics you can get that make you deal more damage the more of your uh the more of your arcana are based on one element. We've got a balloon here. Okay. I've not seen that before. Okay, so it's getting harder and harder to focus on what I've used and what I haven't used, so that's going to be difficult for me. I'm, I'm not actually liking the fact that that's on R as well. Now, having that on R is weird. Um, okay, let's, let us let me see if I can do some rebinding here, actually. Do you know, I haven't even looked at the in-game settings at all. I probably should uh, probably should have a look at some of the, some of the graphic settings and stuff. Uh... Key config. So, spell one is mouth zero. The hell is mouth zero? What? I, that's strange. Okay, so that can stay there. That can stay there. That can stay there. Um, but Q, E, and R. Um, we can keep one of them on Q, I think. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I think I'm just going to change the R ability to this. Because then it's on my mouse instead. Yeah, I like that a lot better. That, that feels way smoother. That feels way smoother. Yep, I'm liking, I'm liking this new setup. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so much more comfortable now. I'm gonna wait around and wait until my health heals up here. I wonder if I increase my max HP with any means to do that. I wonder if that helps, like, with the regen. Or is it always 91, 92? Um, right, what, what's this balloon we got? Release a burst of wind when taking damage that stuns enemies and pushes them away. That's really nice. And added a little extra. Look at that. We're, we're, we're really feeling it now. Feeling the power. Nothing there particularly want. I will activate his little portal there. There you go. Oh, wouldn't even activate it. There we go. Let's keep going. I didn't realize it would be so small. 
So I think I think when we enter combat, we should be holding Q straight away. That's the best option. And we got this guy again. Increase all damage del enemies no longer knock back. Um, immediately pressing forward into attack will guard the attack and stun enemies nearby. You recover slower from attacks. Left half of the ethereal gauntlet. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. I'm not going to take any of them, though. I'm pretty happy with what we've got going on right now. I don't want to... I don't want to make it murky. Oh, my God. I'm feeling this build. I'm feeling it. That knockback is so nice with the uh, lower health regen as well. Oh my god. I, I, like, I regret saying what I said about this this run earlier. It's, it's great now. <laughs> like, just look at this madness that's going on here. That E ability is insanely good as well. Imagine this with lower cooldowns. It'd be busted. So we've got our boss here. Excuse me. Jump. It's that E ability we need to get off more often. I'm, I'm not using it as much as I should be, really. Right, where the hell are we going now? Map. Down this way. Down, down, down. Hey, fella. What you got for us this time? Reaching health every time you pick up Chaos Gem. Increase armor base and not Chaos Gem's held. That sounds kind of nice. Um... Yeah, let's go with that, and we'll buy some HP as well. I think that's everything, isn't it? Just go on the map and check. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, damn it. I just completely wasted that. Oh, I do not. I do not like these enemies at all. Oh, ooh, he got me there. He got me good. This guy needs to go like, right now. There you go. Of course it missed. Missing a signature arcana is the saddest thing ever. Wow. We can beeline enemies and just bust their ass open. It's great. I'm liking this a lot. Whoa. We got a ton of healing from all those chaos gems as well there. That was very, very nice. On to the next floor. We're doing really well this time around. Really, really well. We've got something going on here. It, it, this is, like I said, this is one of those runs that just look mucky to start with and now it feels... I don't know, it feels amazing. I mean, we're about to die, but ignore that. Apart from that. Ignore the about to dyingness of it all. Hey you! What's going on with this guy? Just in time, I've managed to acquire some high quality threads that will boost an outfit's effect. I'll run you a hundred gold, but it'll be worth it. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Forgot to mention that fixing may cause a bit of discomfort. Are you still interested? Does that mean it'll hurt? I'm guessing that means it'll hurt us. Because this is technically the cursed shop. Or like, the red one. I don't mean it's cursed, but like, the red one's normally what the cursed shop is. So this could be something that hurts us. So. I don't want to lose any HP. This regen has, like, literally saved us right now. Wow. Yeah, this regen is saving us so much. What? Okay, well, he died very quickly. What the hell? I could die here. Yep. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did. Gems collected 99. So let's go to the shop and have a look what we can buy. Got 101 by the end of that, which is nice. Even 100 is pretty cool. Um, let's have a little look. See, so we've got a pinwheel, which is increased air damage. So we'll take. Well, actually, let's try and let's try and roll for some stuff, shall we? Um, so we've got increased air damage. 
Regen health every time you land a crit. That sounds really good. I'm going to try and roll for some stuff and try and try and make sure we've got builds ready. If you know what I mean. Try and roll for like the increased air damage, increased fire damage, things like that. Um, let's go back. I know this might be a little bit of a tedious process, but it seems like it's going to be good for ma making nice builds happen later on. Um, that's a chance to burn foes. Seems really nice. That balloon was really useful, actually, but I'm not going to take it as my as my first relic. I want some things that give me more of an oomph. Add chance to burn and all that sort of stuff. Add a chance to freeze. Um, adds a chance to fire off a pair of dragon arcs and using basically arcana. Sounds cool. And now with the rest of our money, we'll go and buy some... Uh, unless there's something great, we'll go and buy some of, of these over here. Increase health for all summon arcana. Release a burst of lightning when taking damage. Yeah, let's go for some of these, shall we? Uh, so we've got... Tracer Barrage by a volley of arcing tracing. Uh, let's try and get a few a few more of these rerolled. I want some I want some cool water based things. So we got unleash a quick for all your salver and cuts. That sounds sounds cool. I'll buy that. Ooh, these fists kind of sound cool too. And we've got twenty five left. We can get a few more. It's kind of weird that you can reroll these so easily like this. Um, Ice Seekers, that sounds cool. Ignite a Halo. That sounds kind of cool too. And there you go, we're we're all out, we're all out. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, this has been a fun little episode of Wizard Legend and Roguelike Roulette. I hope you guys are still liking the Roguelike Roulette series. Um, it's an idea I had and I just kind of rolled with it. And people seem to really like it so far. So yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy. Please make sure to leave comments below and let me know what you thought. And I will see you guys in the next episode.